Sayed fans will already be very familiar with the Cooper name as the brand's performance division, which for a long time has offered cheaper yet equally impressive sporty hot hatches to rival the likes of Volkswagen GTI and Skoda RS models. In fact, so impressive were these Cooper models that it's now a standalone brand, complete with its own badge and unique identity. Well, semi-unique anyway, because another name that Sayed fans will be familiar with is Ateca. And instead of the obvious choice like the Leon or Ibiza, this five-door family SUV is the first model in the range to get the full Cupra treatment, which includes a two-liter turbocharged petrol engine under the hood, pushing out 300 HP, 400 Newton meters of torque, and with all that power sent to all four wheels as standard. Now, while that might sound like quite an unusual combo at first, the reasons for choosing the Attack of Body become a bit more obvious when you look at firstly the huge increase in demand for SUVs over the last few years and the undeniable extra practicality that they offer, including this very large 485 liter boot. Now granted that is a little bit shy of the Seat Ateca thanks to the standard four wheel drive, but still very useful for a performance car. And you get this fancy electric tailgate as standard. It's quite nicely finished in here too with some handy shopping bag hooks and even handier still, and one of my favorite features to see in a boot actually, are back seats that fold flat at the pull of a lever. So there's no messing about or walking around to the other side to pull them down from back there. So overall, it's a big thumbs up for practicality in the boot. Now we've always been big fans of the Seat Ateca here at Cars Ireland, and lots of the things that we like about the regular Ateca carry over to this Cooper model, including obviously its very generous dimensions. So back seat leg room is very good, with the exception of the middle seat, which is impeded by quite a large transmission tunnel. And that's a problem that in fairness, it does share with many of its competitors. Headroom is also generous and there's plenty of comfort features to help keep your backseat passengers happy back here, like a pull down center armrest complete with cup holders and a couple of USB ports for charging their gadgets. Now the Cooper Ateca is quite a mean looking car, especially in this murdered out black color combo and especially on these 19 inch copper wheels. But inside it all gets a bit meh. Now granted, these especially embossed Cooper sport seats are a particularly nice and surprisingly comfortable touch, but the rest of the interior is just a little bit dark, a little bit dull and a little bit unremarkable for the price tag, which we'll get back to later. Now there are a couple more Cooper badges and flashes of carbon around the place, but overall I can't help feeling that it could have been made a bit more special in here. Now, one thing you can't fault it for is functionality with plenty of practical storage areas, you've got cup holders, all of that jazz, but more importantly still, a very generous level of standard equipment. And that includes things like this touchscreen infotainment system complete with sat-nav, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and all the latest in smartphone integration, as well as a very impressive around view parking system, dual zone climate control, and a digital driver display. Wireless phone charging is also standard as is keyless go and a drive mode selector which will allow you to change the feel of the car for different driving situations. So 300 HP and four wheel drive makes it essentially a golf or underneath and we all know how much fun those are. But how compatible is that with the taller body of an SUV? And the answer is surprisingly so, although you do need to tell it what you want. And what I mean by that is that while some of these drive mode selectors can feel a little bit pointless, especially when they put into SUVs and make very little difference to the driving experience, that is absolutely not the case with the Cupra Ateca. And in fact, you really need this little dial here to wake it up from what feels like a relatively sporty, maybe say it Ateca F or, into more of what you'd expect from this Cooper badge. So putting it into sport mode gives you that instant surge of power on takeoff that you want, as well as beefier steering, a stiffer suspension for a much, much sportier feel and some livelier cabin acoustics. Dynamic mode then takes that one step further if you do happen to come across a really nice stretch of road that you can really let loose on. But it is really nice to have that choice to flick between beast mode and sensible family SUV. It is of course best enjoyed in full Cooper mode, 
and despite the extra height it still manages to offer some very very impressive grip that makes for some very confident cornering that is sure to put a smile on your face. Now the suspension does tend to get quite hard in dynamic mode which gives it a lovely planted feel although it doesn't quite get the same hunkered down glued to the road feel that you get from a golf or because well physics but it's still way way more fun than what an SUV should be. Fuel economy then is not as bad as it could be at about 9, 10 litres per 100 kilometres, depending of course on how much you enjoy that Cooper mode. And then annual road tax is a wallet busting 570 euro, which unfortunately is the price that you pay to have any kind of fun on Irish roads. The Cooper Ateca is a very unique sort of car and there's very little out there like it that can match its combination of performance and practicality at this price tag, which by the way starts at 50,000 euro. Now that may be a big ask when many people may not even recognize the badge, but if you can accept or maybe even embrace that fact, then the Cooper Ateca might just be the answer to a question that you didn't even know that you had. What do you think of Cooper's first standalone model and what would you like to see them make next? Please do let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more like it, please hit subscribe.